What's up everybody, Carolina Keith here again. Gonna make another cool bot setup video for you. This time I'm gonna be using the Mizar platform. Pretty simple to do. Let's get it. All right, couple things you'll need for this. Um, you're gonna need a exchange that you can use on Mizar. Uh, any kind of exchange will work, doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as it connects with theirs, I'll be using KuCoin for this video. That's the one I use for all my videos when I'm making a bot that I want to run. I just connect it to KuCoin. You'll develop an API key. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put a video right here. Kind of shows you the other video of how to create an API key and connect it on with your exchange and get it running. By the way, the website I'll be using for this, as you see on the screen, is Mizar.com. Um, this was formerly Mizar.ai. They just changed it. The interface is better this way. So head on over. All right, here we are on Mizar's console. Uh, here's the actual console page. Here's the actual exchange pages. Once you click on exchanges over here and you set up your API key in your exchange. And as I mentioned before, this will be on your exchange. I used a KuCoin account and I created a sub account and I got the API key for that one. So that it's totally separate from my regular trading account. And it does its own thing on the side. I like it better this way. So I'm going to click on this. I got two of them on here right now. As you see, I've got the MXC API key that I don't even, not even going to use. I'll just have it connected. And I've got my KuCoin one. So I'll select the KuCoin one to make sure that's the one I want to use. Next thing you've got to do is click on your API key up here in your wallet. As you see, if you click the little drop down right here, You've got multiple different things here and you have API key. This API key will be what goes in your information on your bot to tell it to turn on and connect and make it run. All right. Um, I'm not going to click this right now because that's my API key. You'll get your own API key. So I'm gonna, just going to name it uh, Mizar uh, API. All right. That's what I'll name it. I'll click generate API key. It'll make me one. And that API key will go into our bot information that I'm just about to show you in a moment. All right, so you've created your API key, dope. Now we're gonna click on DCA bots right here uh, on the left and develop a bot. Real quick, we're gonna name it Mizar Test Bot. That's just what I'm gonna name mine. I'm gonna put Test Bot here for the description. Not very complicated. I've got $69 in here if you remember. Really up to you on what you wanna do here. I'm just gonna do like, 40 bucks right just let's just say 40 bucks uh because i'm just putting in a random number but i want you to please put in the base order size that you want if you want it to buy a thousand dollars worth of something well that's what you need to put in here right safety order size I'm only going to do one safety order here which i really don't even want to do for this particular application still going to show you so one base order of 20 bucks uh, so if you've scaled that up a little bit and you say you did a thousand bucks you would do a thousand and then 500 now that being said, you'll need at least $1,500 in your account to do that with, right? It'd be an initial buy of a thousand with the dollar cost average of 500. Up to you on that one. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. Um, on order position style, we're gonna do webhook or trading view webhook because we're gonna be adding our own alerts. We are doing a spot bot, so let's leave that alone. We're doing KuCoin as our exchange here. I did, and you can pick the, only, you can pick the exchange that you'd like. Quote pairs in USDT. Obviously, I'm just going to be doing Bitcoin for this one. You can add as many pairs as you like. The more pairs you add, please understand the more alerts you've got to set. You've got to set one alert or at least to start the bot for each particular asset you're going to use. I'm just doing Bitcoin here. You can do more that you more if you'd like. I'm not going to do it for this example. So <clears throat> take profits is next. Uh, I'm going to do 100% because at 100%, I want this bot to take profits for me. Whatever you want your percent at, knock yourself out there. But I want it to be 100%. So uh, that's percentage of base order, which is right on the right. Trailing deviation, you can turn on if you'd like. This is a trailing stop loss or a trailing take profit. You don't have to do it if you don't want. Up to you. Um, stop loss. You can set a stop loss if you'd like. Let's go ahead and do one just for the giggles of it. Uh, stop loss at 20%. Uh, it'll close the position if the price drops 20% while we're still in this. Uh, or 600 seconds if it tries to hit the stop loss and it waits 600 seconds and doesn't hit it, it'll just take it away. 
Um, max number of positions. Obviously, I'm only going to do one, but I got it set here for five. So I could put five different positions on at one time. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, XRP, and XLM. I could do all five. Uh, max order safety count, right? So we're only going to do one here. Um, I only want one dollar cost average. Uh, I'll show you why in a second. Um, but you can do more if you want. It, it would just continue to dollar cost average more. So if you had fifteen hundred dollars in there, your base order would be a thousand. And if you wanted to do two dollar cost averages, you would set your base your uh, dollar cost average number up here to two fifty and two fifty, right? Or two two forty and two forty, whatever. That would split those dollar cost averages up a bit and give it a chance to catch up um, and dollar cost average and bring your price down if you wanted. Now, that's up to you. You don't have to do that if you don't want. Um, safety order price deviation. So you'd set this wherever you want the safety order to kick in. Uh, so like 10% at the price drops. Let's do this. Price drops 9.5%. It kicks on a safety order and tells it to dollar cost average for me. That's what it's there for. Uh, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to click create bot. All right. So the bot is inactive. Would I like to activate it? Yes. Click here to activate it. It's going to say, hey, the maximum exposure bot, because I only have a little bit of money in there. Make sure you've got enough in there. Okay. <clears throat> click activate. Now your bot is active. And as you see, it slipped, it slipped us up here to the performance side and shows our performance up here. We go back to dollar cost average bots. This is the bot we've created, right? Okay. Uh, this is not the bot. We go to performance and this is our bot. As you see, it is running. You've created a strategy that you can change and manipulate and share if you'd like down here on dollar cost average bots, but your bot is actually here. All right. And the bot ID is 1861 for me. And that's going to be important because that's going to go uh, where our trading view alerts go. In the next segment so <clears throat> let's take a dive here on how we're going to start our bot how we're going to stop our bot and what it's going to look like all right so you've created your bot you've activated it but it's not going to take any orders yet because you don't have a trading view signal to tell it to turn on yet so let's work on that now this is where the really cool stuff happens and this is the real real technical part of it that you kind of can't miss. So your bot ID, my bot ID under performance right here is 1861. So that bot ID will need to be put in in a certain place here in a moment. And I'm going to show you that. But if we go back to DCA bots real quick, this is the bot that we created. You remember that, all right? This is our bot. I want to click on view strategy here for a moment. <clears throat> and if you see at the top, it says setting simulation trading view right here. These are our messages that we're going to input in our alerts to tell our positions to open and close. This is how it's going to happen right here. A message to open position, message to close position, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So these are what I'm going to be putting into my alerts on trading view to tell it what to do. You see, I click on message open here. What I'm going to do is highlight all this, right click copy. All right. And then I'm going to go over here to my trading view now. And I'm going to set an alert somewhere. So I'm going to just use a resistance line that I've got on the line already right here. I've got this line drawn already. So I'm going to click on it and I'll click on up here where you see alerts pop up Add alert. So <clears throat> now we need to add an alert in here to make this thing on trading view, click over and tell my czar what to do. That's the beauty of what we're about to do. So this one will be called open position so i name that alert open position i'll delete it right here right click and paste everything i had in there if you remember though my bot id is not 669 my bot id is 1861 so that's the bot id that i put in trading view 1861 for my for my set here base asset <clears throat> goodness uh sorry so base asset here i'm using bitcoin for this one so it'd be btc quote asset that's going to be usdt because that's where everything oh uh most messed up there in between the quotations on quote asset usdt 
right there. API key. Remember this was on Mizar over here. When you click on API, this API key that you saved will now go in here. Now, I'm not going to put my API key on the screen here for you to see, but I'll type in one for you. And let's call it uh, um, 281-330-8004, which is Mike Jones, if you don't know. That API key right there would hook over and go to my bot to tell my bot to run through my API. Now, there's one more thing that we don't have right here, and that's our webhook that connects us from trading view to my czar directly okay so the webhook's kind of long and i can't really type it out all on the screen so what i've done is i put the webhook down below all you have to do is copy and paste it uh, once you copy and paste it you're going to put it over in a trading view screen here which i'll show you now um, right here is where you put the webhook all right this is it this is the webhook um once you take this webhook and put it in there you can turn on your notifications as you see fit, notify on app, show pop up. You can make it play noises. You can make it send an email to you. That's all up to you. Now, here's the next piece of it. So on the alert right here, I've got my line set and I've got crossing. So I want to do crossing up because I want it to buy once it crosses up over that line where I'm setting my alert once per bar close. So as soon as it closes over that line, bam that tells my bot to buy whatever amount i told it to buy and start the bot up and run it that's it that's it that's all it takes to make your bot turn on and run once you click create you click create and it says hey it may trigger that's fine don't worry about that now your alert is set and you even see a little alert symbol pop up now if you don't know where those alerts are you click over here on the right and you see it says open position. You can click on edit and you can go back and edit and change this as you see fit. Obviously it's not gonna work because I put the wrong API key in. I just put in a fake one for you. Not the point. Once that alert crosses that line and triggers, it's gonna tell my bot to buy my base order position of whatever I set it at, which was what, 40 bucks. And it'll dollar cost average with the other $20 as it sees fit to, all right? That's it. That's how you start the bot and run the bot. Now, what about if you want to cut it off? What about if things turn bad? Well, let's go over that next. All right, back to that same screen we were at a moment ago. Here's how we tell the position to stop. Okay, you can do this a couple ways. You can either use just message to close the position that you're in, which is literally the exact same thing. It's just closing instead of opening. Or you can come down to message to stop bot and close all positions let's say this is like worst case scenario everything has gone way down it's getting really ugly and you want to get out you don't want to lose any money you don't want your bot to get stuck in a never-ending position so let's use this one we click copy go back to our chart here let's say it's going to break this blue line hypothetically and if it does that's where we want to stop so we click our blue line we click alert we have our webhook put in here, which is going to be below. Talked about that a moment ago. It's going to be below there in the description of the video. This will be called stop, bot, and close. We'll put everything down here. Paste. Similar thing there. Whatever our bot ID was. I think it was 1831. Um, positions. All of them. And API key is what our API key will be, which is uh, 281-330-8004. Uh, so that'll close all of our bots and close all of our positions and stop the bot from running anymore. Hey, because the chart looks really, really bad. We don't want to lose any money. And you can use these to set the trends up just like you could on the other video that I made before. Mizar does the exact same thing. Um, this stops the bot from running when it's bad and starts it back up when it's good. You can section off the amount of money that you want to trade with. It's totally up to you. So go forth and use this. Uh, I've got a couple running already myself. I like it pretty well so far. All right, one more time. The web hook is down here in the bottom. Um, if you need the web hook and you can't find it, right here it'll be. All you got to do is just go down to the description of the video and click it. 
Also in the description of the video, we have our Discord on there. So you can hop on there and ask me questions if you'd like. And we'll have a link to our launch pass, which you can click on and become a member on our Discord. It's only $16 a month. Gets you unlimited access. We can help set up bots at any, any place and any time you'd like to set them up. Thank you all for watching. If you need anything else, jump over there on the Discord and holler at me and let me know. Till then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.